my grand total as an entrepreneur and YouTuber is What's up everyone, it's Modern Millie. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where I post videos every Wednesday teaching you the latest strategies and trends on social media to help bloggers, content creators, and influencers grow their brands. So give a little love tap on that subscribe button to stay up to date on all the latest tips and tricks that I have for you. First, I wanna say a huge thank you to this video's shout outs. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. So if you wanna get a shout out in one of my future videos, screenshot yourself watching this video and tag me on Instagram stories or leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel. As always, timestamps will be in the comments down below because I know how valuable your time is and you already know why you're here. So let's get into it. Today we are talking about money. So if you're somebody who's uncomfortable talking about money or you find yourself comparing yourself to others and maybe you start to feel discouraged when money is involved, uh, now is your chance to skip ahead to another video of mine. Uh, watch this one. This one and the card. Watch that instead. You have an out. There you go. But if you don't mind talking about money or if money is a motivator for you, you can keep watching and cause uh, I'm just gonna be very transparent and open with my money journey. So I do not post monthly analytic videos to like brag or whatever income that I'm making into anybody's face. I just know that for me, I wish I had a YouTuber or influencer or somebody to document their money journey from like the very beginning so that I could see like the realism of the hard work paying off. Because as you may know, growing on social media is not an overnight success thing and it kind of feels like it is. You see somebody on like year five of their journey and you're comparing their their year five to your like day one. So I wanna try to document everything as I grow so that in a year, two years, whatever down the road, I'm able to look back and see my growth and anybody who is in this current place as well, they feel motivated like, hey, it's okay to have somewhere to start. So that's what this is, me documenting my journey, talking about what works, what doesn't work, what I've learned along the way, and hopefully this is to inspire you as opposed to discouraging you. Um, again, I don't want you guys to compare your day one to somebody's day 600. In this video, I will not be talking about the money I made working for like the government or like before I got laid off or working part time or unemployment or, or any of that. This is going to be the money that I made running my own business and doing my own entrepreneur uh, lifestyle, okay? I didn't start trying to diversify my income until like after I was laid off, which was in March. And then after that, I took about a four to five month break for, you know, my own mental health and sanity. Then in July, I decided to come back to social media and figure out my business-ish. The five streams of income that I was able to develop last year were YouTube, virtual assistant work, collaborations, coaching, and affiliate marketing. Now I could do an entire video on this specific topic, so I'm gonna try to keep it a little short. Affiliate marketing is when you make a commission for promoting somebody else's products. So common affiliate marketing programs are Amazon affiliates, reward style, share a sale, and other softwares or other programs like that. I joined Amazon affiliate last year around August with like no set strategy in place other than adding a few links to like my YouTube videos and my Instagram bio. Just by placing these links kind of throughout my uh, platforms, Last year, I was able to make a whopping total of $84.19. <laughs> yep, yeah, I know, I'm a baller. Last year, 2020, I was able to make a grand total of $84.19 with affiliate marketing alone. Again, this is like no strategy in place. I just decided to put links in my YouTube descriptions and my Instagram bio, um, and that was what I was able to make the month of, I think, August through December. Next, we're gonna talk about um, coaching. So as you guys know, I currently offer coaching opportunities. I have my group community and one-on-ones. Last year in 2020, I didn't advertise any coaching opportunities because my main goal was to get my website up, launched, and position myself as an industry leader through that kind of professionalism. So that was my main goal. And then if anybody reached out to me, I would offer coaching services. If you saw last week's video, then you know my website didn't launch until January 4th, so I wasn't advertising any coaching before that, but I did have a few people reach out to me and ask me if they could take coaching. I accepted two people to do one-on-one -on -one coaching towards the end of the year. So my grand total income for 2020 with coaching was $3,400. Let's get into collaborations. Again, I wasn't very active on Instagram until about August because I took so much time off after getting laid off of work. Um, and then I got married in September, so I wasn't really focusing on landing brand collaborations until I was back from like my mini moon in October. 
Now, with that being said, my total income for collaborations in 2020 was roughly $4,000. And I say roughly because I'm not sure how transparent I can be with specific numbers or specific collaborations due to like confidentiality reasons and contracts and all of that fun stuff. But I still wanted to give you guys a ballpark range of how much I made with collaborations alone. Now, if you're interested in landing brand collaborations or you want to hear more about that topic, let me know in the comments below. And while you're at it, you could grab my free pitching email templates. I'll leave those in the description as well. Okay, now on to virtual assistant work. So I had one constant client throughout the year. They took a break with their contract when the pandemic hit, and then after a few months, they came back. And as their virtual assistant, I was in full control of their social media accounts, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, and I would even send emails to their team bi-weekly. My grand total for my virtual assistant work in 2020 was $16,000. Okay, and last but not least, the income you've all probably been waiting for for YouTube. Last year was the year that I finally got monetized on YouTube and I think I got my first YouTube paycheck in July. My first YouTube paycheck was about $500 and I'm, I'm not sure if you guys are interested in hearing more about that journey, um, so I'm just gonna skip it in this video. But if you want a little bit more behind the scenes of like getting monetized, all that fun stuff, let me know in the comments below, uh, but I'm gonna skip it for this video. Okay, so looking in my YouTube account, the analytics total of 2020, my YouTube revenue was $9,525. That's pretty good. <laughs> I'm proud of myself. I was hoping to break the $10,000 mark, but December's analytics dipped quite a bit. Um, I think it was like the holiday season. Not many people were on YouTube or if they were, they were only watching Vlogmas and I didn't do Vlogmas. So December, my analytics kind of tank, which, which brings our total to 9,525, which is still really great. I am very proud of myself. It's okay if I didn't hit my 10,000 mark. Still very proud and I have a lot of room to grow. Now, with that being said, adding up all five streams of income from 2020, my grand total as an entrepreneur and YouTuber is $33,009.19. Before I get carried away, remember this. That's like the total income revenue. This does not include taxes or expenses taken out yet. When taking out taxes, it brings it down to like $23,000. But then I also had expenses like my virtual assistant, video editors, collaborations manager, web designer, all the platforms like Adobe Premiere, Squarespace, WordPress, Shopify, Showit, Canva, and all of that. So with my expenses and taxes taken out, rough estimate, my actual in pocket was closer to $10,000. We're growing. Uh, this year I will be joining like a mastermind and coaching program. So I will be getting coached as well. So hopefully I can really level up my business this year. <clears throat> At the end of the day, I think 2020 was a lot of like groundwork and setting the stage for 2021 to shine. I did a lot of like foundation building, focusing on growth, building my email list and getting a website set up as opposed to like trying to make money. You know, so that was like 2020 goals was just setting the foundation. And now 2021, I want to really up level with the income. So my goal this year is to turn the 33,000 revenue into a six figure revenue by bringing in new income streams, like launching an online course, my monthly membership program, online products, and even expanding the current revenue streams that I currently have. If you guys haven't heard about my monthly membership yet, it's a community for entrepreneurs to encourage each other every week and grow together. Um, every week there's live trainings. Every week you get live trainings. There's monthly challenges to help you grow your business and your mindset and, and so much more. If you're interested in joining that community, I'll link it below so you can check it out. Okay, that was a lot. I'm not even sure if it was interesting at all to you guys, but I don't know. I don't know. If there's any area that I kind of touched on in this video that you want me to dive a little bit deeper on, let me know in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to dive deeper on any of these income streams. And if you've made it this far and you're not already subscribed, go ahead and tackle that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss when I post my next videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Follow your joy. Bye.